Hello. First of all, it's good to be back. My camera is fully functioning again, um, which is exciting. If you don't know, I left both of my camera battery chargers as well as two batteries down in Florida for a wedding, um, or I was in Florida for a wedding, and I left my batteries and my chargers down there. So for the past four days, um, I have not had any camera. The only other batteries I had with me were both dead, and so I couldn't do anything with my camera. I tried to make a video on my phone. It didn't work. I don't have enough storage or whatever to shoot the way I want to, so. But anyhow, today I want to talk about the importance of these. Um, and this is a notebook. I have been using a notebook to catalog my ideas, my um, goals, my tasks, even just for the day, for over a year now. Um, and I have found them to be the best way, hands down, to clear your brain. Twitter's a good way too, I just don't want to share my ideas with everybody all the time because a lot of them are bad. But anyhow, this notebook contains just about every idea, good or bad, I have had over the last 18 months or so. Um, I have been writing in it almost daily. I take it everywhere with me and it has been a huge help. All of my YouTube video scripts are in here. A lot of my ideas that I uh, had for reels when I was still actively trying to do those were in here. Um, short film ideas are in here, an upcoming photo project I've got is in here. Um, just about everything I've ever thought of doing or have done has come from this notebook. The reason I found this notebook so helpful is because my brain is loud. Um, I've got a ton of ideas always bouncing around in there and uh, trying to get a clear understanding of what the idea even actually is among the rest of them is next to impossible. And so really focusing in on that idea, writing it down on a piece of paper and giving it clarity has been immensely helpful. And oftentimes, as I mentioned, I have a ton of bad ideas and uh, often I will begin writing it down in the notebook and I will vet it before the sentence is even finished. I will say that's dumb or that's exactly what somebody else did or it's both. I'll begin writing it down in my notebook and I'll realize halfway through that it's not a good idea. Whereas when it, if it just lived in my brain, it would probably seem like a good idea among the noise and clutter of all the other hundreds of ideas I have all the time. And I much prefer this over writing down ideas in my phone or keeping a document on my computer or anything like that. Um, I'll do that if I have to, but the time it takes to actually physically write the idea down on a piece of paper is important to me. Um, like I said, I've written ideas and discarded them before I even finish writing them. That's the beauty of writing in a notebook. You are so immediate typing it in on a computer or typing it on your phone or voice recording it in your memos. It's so immediate. You don't really have time to think about it and process what it is you're actually thinking about doing. So when you write it down in a notebook, you've got a little bit of a delay between the idea being here and the idea being physical, the idea being real. And when I come to the conclusion that an idea is worth pursuing or a, a, it is something that I want to make a goal, um, now it exists somewhere physical and I can hold myself accountable to that goal because it exists. It's not just somewhere in my mind, I'm not going to lose it unless I lose the notebook, which would be um, devastating to say the least because I would be lost without this thing probably. But if you are just relying on your brain to help store these creative endeavors that you're envisioning, I would really encourage you to stop that and to start writing them down somewhere. Start keeping a record of the thoughts and ideas you have um, because that way the inspiration that you have connected to those ideas is gonna last. You can go back and look at it and say, man, I still really wanna do that. I wanna make that short film. I wanna paint that painting. I wanna sculpt that thing. I wanna go to that place. You can revisit that inspiration because I have ideas in this notebook that I wrote down you know, a year or so ago and I never really um, had the ability to pursue them at that moment. Well, now I'm coming around to them again and I'm like, man, I still wanna do that. I wanna go shoot that video. It has been immensely helpful for me just keeping track of the things that I want to do. 
um, keeping track of my ideas, keeping track of my goals. Uh, it has been immensely helpful in that and I know it will be too for you if even if you aren't a photographer or a videographer, you can do this with any art form, any goals you have in any area of life, because now that they're out in the world physically, it holds you accountable. Somebody can pick up this notebook and flip through it and go, man, why'd you never do that? Why'd you never shoot that video? Why'd you never take that photo? Why'd you never do X, Y, or Z? Why'd you never start going to the gym? Keeping things written down in a notebook is not the most revolutionary thing ever. And in fact, it's something my mom told me to start doing when I was like, eight or nine and I never did it because I, I knew that my brain could keep track of everything that I needed it to keep track of. Um, when I was eight that worked just fine but the past couple of years uh, with all that's going on and a lot of opportunities and a lot of new work, uh, it doesn't really work anymore. You gotta find other avenues to keep things in order and uh, give clarity to thoughts because my ideas when they first surface are pretty vague. And uh, if I don't, if I don't write them down and really flesh them out, they will stay vague, and I'll never really know what I'm actually wanting to do. I'll just have a one frame in my head, or a title in my head, or a line of dialogue, or something like that. And if I don't actually give them some physicality, they'll never become any clearer than a frame or a line of dialogue. It's very rare that an idea is going to come to you in its fullest form. In fact, I don't think that's ever happened for me. I've always had to find a way to put the meat on the bones of an idea. And uh, this notebook has become the best way that I know how to do that. So it's a short video. I'm back. I finally got camera batteries, so I'm excited to start doing stuff again. I sort of got off track. Just wanted to real quick get on here and encourage you to start taking notes. Um, it will be immensely beneficial to you. I know it because it has been for me and I've heard it a million times and I didn't believe it until I started. So I'd encourage you to start taking notes, start writing down where you wanna be in X amount of time, start writing down the things you wanna have accomplished and you'll be better for it. I appreciate you sticking around and listening to me talk about notebooks for a few minutes. It's something that I'm recently sort of passionate about and excited about and I hope you are too. Hope you start taking notes and I hope those, uh, those ideas you have come to life. If this was helpful or informative in some way, please let me know. If you got any questions, please feel free to ask them. I'd love to help you if I can. And uh, I think that's about it. Catch y'all later.